Yes, the book is titled Dominus Est. It means it is the Lord. It is the word from the Gospel of John. These are the words of the Apostle John when he saw our Lord, the risen Lord, on the shore of the sea of Genezareth. And the others were fishing, but no one recognized the Lord. Only John. And then he exclaimed, it is the Lord. And then the, the other awakened. And so it was my intention to also to, to shout in the church that uh, bishops and faithful and priests may awaken and recognize that this little, little host during the distribution of Holy Communion is the Lord the creator of heaven and earth, the infinite majesty or sanctity of God, hidden in this, in this little host. And unfortunately, in the last uh, 40, 50 years, it was spread a manner to receive and distribute Holy Communion, called in the hand, which really uh, is a cause, an effective cause of the diminishing of the conscience and the faith that it is the Lord. When I can handle uh, the host as in, the, in a very similar manner as I can handle a chip and take with my two fingers and put in my mouth, the same gestures is in the communion in hand. The people take the host from the palm of their hand and themselves foot in the mouth. This is a typical uh, ordinary gesture to take meal, which you can observe all, all in the cafeterias and so on, in receptions. And uh, this diminu diminishes by time the conscience that this little host is extraordinary and is not a, a thing or never, even not only a holy thing, but someone, this is our God. And so I consider this a very serious problem. The, the greatest treasure which we have here on earth, is our Lord, Eucharistic Lord, in the host, is becoming so banalized, so exposed, to irreverence and uh, the most grievous aspect in this manner is that uh, the loss of, of numerous uh, fragments of the host because they fall down <coughs> continuously. It is, no one can deny this, it is a fact. Or they are sticked on, on, the, on the palms or on the fingers and then they, they fall down on earth and then trampled. Our Lord is trampled by his faithful in innumerable churches. And we continue quietly and no one shouts and says stop. And everyone says, okay, we can continue with this. It is incredible, it is a shame. We have to protest and to shout and this was the, the reason of my book.